Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here and the off season is officially heating up. We are finally starting to get some official stories. We are finally, uh, or you know, official, some some rumored or pretty dang close to official stories um, starting to happen. Obviously, there's still a ton of speculation. There's still a ton of roster theory crafting and a, and a ton of ideas and a ton of what ifs and a ton of, um, you know, hey, if this happens, then this could happen, then this could happen and a lot of that going on. But it does seem like some of the dominoes are starting to fall and you know it makes sense like I said there's just three teams left in the LCS LEC's done LCK's done it's the offseason for a lot of teams out there and you want to start making moves and you know if you wait too long some of the players are going to be gone or a bunch of the rosters are already going to be figured out you're going to be playing from behind you're going to end up in a situation like TSM did last offseason where you are the very last team like in the world to finish your roster and then uh, you know you're going to be shocked when your team ends up last place so um, you don't want to rush into moves but hey you got to get a move on a little bit and in this video today we're going to be talking about a big update coming out of the LEC uh, regarding Mad Lion so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video I would appreciate that a ton uh, and subscribe to save today and all my latest content you guys don't want to miss out on anything we got coming up in the near future uh, of course also uh consider checking out the first link in the description below for the patreon uh it's an awesome way to help support me my channel and my content as i try to get closer and closer to full-time content creation uh and in return you get uh early access to all my videos before they go live on youtube you know so just you know hopefully it's a win-win for both of us with that being said let's get right into this what we are talking about today is this uh this is a tweet from johan markov esports person who says sources mad lions to bench Reeker ahead of summer 2022. Now, this is obviously big news. You know, this is this isn't like oh maybe they're gonna bench him or or uh, you know I heard they're gonna. This is he's tweeting at Mad Lions to bench Reeker, and this is a guy who uh, you know he's the junior editor uh, and journalist for Jackson MVP. Like uh, you know he's not like Blue or Jacob Wolf, but but esports person has a pretty good reputation. He definitely has sources. He's reported on stuff um, over the past couple of off seasons. He he usually does pretty good work and you know he is like a a journalist he does um you know try to have integrity and, and try to get things right and he's not necessarily going to be putting things out that are going to be uh too wrong now this has been kind of the open secret for a while now you know i i am a little bit salty because this tweet was front page of league of legends reddit uh this tweet got 3500 likes and hey this was me, uh, March 14th, I tweeted out rumor, Mad Lions may be looking to move on from Reeker, because again, this is something that a ton of people in the space have been talking about, this has been out there, this is something that I was told about, uh, that it seems like everyone knew about, I've talked to numerous people behind the scenes who have said that yes, you know, this is a thing, it, it wasn't official that they were going to bench Reeker, but they were looking at other mid lane options, um, now hey, if none of those worked out, maybe they were going to be forced to bring back Reeker, even if they didn't think he was necessarily the best option in the world but uh obviously the fact that um you know esports person well one you know hey i'm a little bit salty i only got 22 likes but again i tweeted this on march 14th today's april 18th you know this was over a month ago i was on this this is also the first ever uh like rumor tweet i've tweeted out so hey so far we're one for one uh and i definitely have more rumor videos and more rumored tweets coming out to you guys some of them are going to be pretty spicy some of them i will definitely get wrong um but i still want to let you guys know what i'm hearing i want to let you guys know what's going on uh and and just remember to take everything with a grain of salt. You know, if it's a rumor, that doesn't mean it's a done deal. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. It just means, hey, uh, this is an idea that could happen. And let's talk about what if it did, uh, you know, how cool would that be? Or how interesting would that be? Or how stupid would that be? Or whatever. So, you know, don't be a weirdo about it. Don't be a, somebody that goes and ruins the whole thing. Uh, but just know I am going to be tweeting this stuff out. I am going to be making videos about more speculative stuff uh, and about, you know, stuff that I maybe hear in the wind or whatever. But uh, you know, this has kind of been the deal. Uh, Mad Lions has been looking at other mid lane options. Uh, Reeker was a really hyped up prospect. There was rumors that even like a ton of teams were interested in him this offseason. Like even Fnatic uh, was was maybe going to look at Reeker to replace Niski, which is pretty crazy. And that shows you how big of a prospect he was. But uh, also him being done after just a single split kind of shows you 
how big of a flop he was. You know, Mad Lions finished seventh. Uh, Reeker was really one of the weakest mid laners in all of the LEC. Yes, he still does have a ton of potential. Yes, he does have a ton of hype. But uh, Mad Lions coming off back to back LEC championships, I'm sure they expect better. I'm sure they want to do better. Uh, he does say here that the organization is exploring mid lane options, of which uh, one is Fnatic's former mid laner, Niski. Now, again, this is also not anything crazy. It's not anything that hasn't been spoken about before. Now, yes, uh, you know, esports person is kind of the first guy to actually put his name behind something like this besides me. I know Wulu kind of was tweeting about like, hey, maybe Niski to Matt or something like that, um, but not like an official report, official article and stuff. Um, obviously, I don't, I can't write an official article. I'm not a writer or a journalist for anybody or something, but um, hey, I just making it clear that I was on this one. Um, but he does say, uh, you know, how Niski is a potential option. Uh, he also says that Reeker has a lot of interest from various teams, including Koi um, from the LVP Super League. So honestly, that would be pretty cool for Reeker. Obviously, it sucks if he gets bounced from the LEC. Um, but getting to go to a big team like Koi, you know, that's kind of like reckless going to K Corp. Like, you know, if you are going to have to go down to the ERLs, you want to play for one of these big popular teams that's going to have a ton of fans, that's going to have a ton of eyeballs on you. So then if you go down to the ERLs and you pop off, off, you make a name for yourself and a bunch of people get to see you and you can grow your personal fan base. You can grow your personal brand. Um, you know, maybe that makes your socials pop off more. Maybe that makes your stream pop off more, your YouTube. And then maybe if you do really good, you can get back to the LEC and just like a split or two or something, um, which I think would be really, really good. But again, uh, yeah, I was pretty critical of Reeker this past split. I did not think he was that amazing. Obviously, I think Niski would be a massive upgrade over him. Um, here in the article, they say, according to sources, uh, Mad Lions are set to bench their mid laner Reeker. Uh, the German mid laners expected to leave the organization as there's interest from various teams uh you know obviously they brought in unforgiven and reeker unforgiven did pretty good reeker did not very good um but obviously reeker was in a tough situation you know replacing humanoid was never going to be easy especially in you know your first split as a rookie but uh mad lines finish eight and ten obviously uh and they are exploring mid lane options which include the former fanatic mid laner niski and misfits gaming's vto now i wonder if there's any other options but but like i said uh i i think the leader in the clubhouse at this point is niski obviously vto is still under contract with misfits um, and he's the defending MVP. He's not going to be cheap or easy to get from Misfits. Um, Niski is still under contract with Fnatic, so they are still going to have to agree on some kind of buyout there. And, and what I have been told uh, previously is that uh, there are maybe some issues with the buyout um, from Fnatic and Mad Lions. You know, Mad Lions obviously is an organization that doesn't like to spend a ton of money. Uh, they're an organization that likes to sell off their players, not really looking to do a ton of buyouts and stuff. Most European organizations don't have that much money to begin with and don't want to spend that much money anyway. Um, so maybe Fnatic's going to have to lower their buyout. Maybe Mad Lions is going to decide to fork over a little bit extra money. I don't know, but I do think Niski makes a ton of sense on Mad Lions. Now, there are other rumors involving Mad Lions. There is rumors that maybe, um, you know, Mad Lions is going to be selling off El Yoya, maybe to Vitality, maybe to Fnatic, who knows? So then maybe if Mad Lions gets a little bit of money for selling off, um, you know, Niski or selling off El Yoya, maybe then they'll have a little bit extra money to buy Niski. Maybe that's how this deal gets done. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but again, the whole Niski coming back to the LEC, maybe going Excel, maybe Mad Lions, that's been a rumor swirling around. But for that to happen, obviously Reeker needed to get benched. Reeker needed to get kicked first. And now that that first domino is falling, I don't think they would, you know, be talking about benching or kicking whatever to Reeker unless they had their mid lane replacement option lined up. So I do kind of expect that we will be getting some news uh, revolving Niski or just whoever Mad Lions new mid laner is going to be in the very near future. As far as Reeker, uh, it looks like Koi or um, Giants from the LVP Super League could be options for him as well. We will have to wait and see. But again, it sounds like he's going to end up in a decent spot. Obviously, it sucks it didn't work out for him, but I'm sure we'll see him back in the LEC again. I'm sure he's going to go do really, really well in the ERLs. Um, but I just don't think Mad Lions was a great spot for him. You know, I think he should uh, probably go to a, another team that, uh, you know, maybe a team like, um, I don't know, like SK or Astralis or something, you know, to, to try and build himself up a little bit. Mad was going to be a tough situation. I thought this was really, really funny too. Um, you know, Nelson, uh, this is also from March 17th. Mad Lions said, dear fans, we owed you a message about our spring split. They post all the stuff. Nelson says, nice video. Hoping to see Reeker and Unforgiven performing in Mad Lions in the summer. Uh, and again, this just kind of shows you this was like the open. It wasn't, it wasn't really a secret. Everyone knew that Mad Lions was looking to replace Reeker. They were looking to, um, you know, maybe move on from him. So again, all this finally coming out isn't a total shock, um, but it is still very, very big news. Uh, and if this is Niski's path back to the LEC, uh, one, I think that's great because he's 
absolutely LEC caliber. He's going to make the league better. He's going to make whatever team he's on better. And he could make Mad Lions a lot better. He could take them from not a playoff team to maybe a world's team, uh, which is going to be some bad news for some, for some other teams, you know, like Vitality or Fnatic or, um, you know, whatever team they could potentially compete with for those world spots. Um, but but yeah, the, the scene is better when Niski's in it. He's a good personality. He's a good player. He's fun, exciting to watch, big fan base. Um, he needs to be in the league. He should be in the league. Uh, and if this is how he's going to do it, well, hey, again, nothing's done at this point yet. It's all still rumored. And, and Mad Lions definitely has other mid lane options, um, but it does look like Reeker is going to be out of Mad Lions opening up their mid lane position for whoever's coming next. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this move. Do you think Mad Lions should have, um, you know, went another split of Reeker? Do you think they should go Niski? Do you think they should go Video? Somebody else? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save up to date on all my latest content. Consider checking out first link in the description below for the Patreon. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.